Many of the skills that make the Philippines a strong IT BPM hub also make it an excellent location for semiconductor manufacturing as well. The Philippines' highly educated, English-proficient workforce gives it a key advantage. Today, the Philippine semiconductor industry is concentrated in Manila, Calabarzon, and Cebu. Between 2014 and 2023, U.S. investment in Philippine computer and electronic manufacturing totaled almost $8 billion. Under the Biden administration, the United States sought to diversify its semiconductor ecosystem through the Chips and Science Act of 2022. The International Technology, Security, and Innovation Fund allocated $500 million over five years to partner with countries like the Philippines to strengthen semiconductor supply chains. During the Presidential Trade and Investment Mission of March 2024, then-Secretary of Commerce Gina Raimondo announced a $1 billion investment in the Philippine technology sector. This investment aimed to double the number of semiconductor factories in the Philippines. Currently, there are 13 semiconductor factories focused on assembly, testing, and packaging. President Marcos has stressed the importance of semiconductor and tech manufacturing for his administration. The Philippine Economic Zone Authority, or PESA, has been aggressively promoting the country as a site for overseas electronic and semiconductor manufacturing. Already, U.S. companies are increasingly investing in the Philippines' semiconductor future. In May 2023, Analog Devices announced a $200 million investment in an R&D facility in Cavite. In August 2023, Texas Instruments announced a $1 billion facility expansion in Clark and Baguio City. The Philippines hopes to move up the value chain and establish a lab-scale wafer fabrication plant by 2028. Stay tuned for more on our U.S. Investment in the Philippines series.